Oh, hey, readers. You've just caught me doing some reflecting. Okay, okay, okay. Today we will be talking about reflecting on our reading, but we're not going to need any mirrors for this kind of reflection. Reflecting on our reading is so important. Reflection is a way that you can grow as a reader. You look at where you started, you look at the improvements you've made so far, and then you look forward to the improvements you want to make next. How are we going to do this reflection to see where we started and see where we want to go? If you said look in our reader's notebook and do some reflecting, you are absolutely correct. So come on, let's do it. Step number one in our reflection is take a stroll down memory lane. Here's a fun fact. Every time you write in your reader's notebook, you are actually reflecting on your reading. So by reflecting on the pages you wrote, you're reflecting on your reflecting of reading. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so step one, look at the notes and the things that uh, you've written so far. Kind of look at what kind of notes have you been taking? What kind of things have you been writing? What do you notice that you're doing well? What do you notice that mm, maybe you're not doing so well? I see here, I noticed that I made two predictions. I had two thoughts, two predictions that were wrong. That's why I put an X on them. So maybe my predicting skills aren't the greatest. Um, I didn't write too many words about Uncle Romy and me. Um, I just kind of did this one thing, so maybe I could have written more. I have done a really good job keeping everything organized. Um, so that's just kind of what I'm thinking right now. After you look through the pages that you've written, the notes you've taken, go check your book list. Take a look at what you've read so far since the beginning of this unit, since you started your reading journal. Take a look at, are you liking the books you read? Maybe you notice a pattern of you're giving all the books twos. So maybe that tells you that you need to find some books that you're more interested in. Are you reading all fiction books? Are you reading all nonfiction books? Is that something you want to continue? Or is that something you want to change? So after you've looked at your book list and your notes, I want you to flip to the next blank page and write a template that looks like this. Some things, it could be something if you have one or with an S if you have more than one, you can make it plural. Some things I did well and some things I want to improve. So I was kind of talking through my thinking as I looked through those pages. Um, I was thinking that some things I did well is my notebook is pretty well organized. My handwriting is all nice. I actually chose to do different colors every time I did a different book. That keeps it really um, easy to read and I know when I'm switching books. Something else I did kind of in the same vein as that is I always titled the page with the book title and the author. That made it very clear to me what the notes came from. Um, so those are some things I did well. I also noticed that I had a variety of notes. It's not like I was only writing predictions. It's not like I was only writing about how the characters were acting. I did a lot of different kinds of notes. That's something I did well. I also noticed some things that I want to work on. One of those things was I had some stories where I did like a lot of not true predictions. So that tells me that maybe predictions is a skill I want to work on and maybe I need some more strategies to make better predictions. Something else I noticed in my book list is I just really haven't read too many books. Uh, so maybe a goal of mine would be to read more. Now, this is the first time you've done reflecting, at least with me. You might have done it in previous grades, but in order to give you some support, I decided to write out a list of possible ideas of things you might have noticed you did well and some things you might have noticed that you want to improve. So let me read through those quickly. 
In the some things you did well category, you might notice that you asked good questions about the text. You were organized in your note taking. You wrote a little bit every day. You had good handwriting. You read a, ver a variety of genres. You read a lot every day. You found a good spot or a good time to read. You like the books you're reading. You can notice that you're improving because of some reason. And you put in your best effort. Now, some things you might notice that you want to improve are if you're not yet consistently writing if you want to build more stamina, if you only drew pictures. You might want to write more sentences. You might want to improve your predictions. You might want to write more questions. You might want to think deeper about the characters. You would like to take better notes. Maybe you need to be more organized. Maybe you're just not reading enough yet. Maybe you want to find better books. Your first job today before you do any reading is please do some reflecting on your reading journal. Follow the steps I showed you, look through the, your reader's notebook, um, check on some things that you're doing well and some things that you might want to improve. Feel free to rewind or go back in the video a little bit and use that list. If you want to copy directly from there, I'm fine with that. Just make sure it's something meaningful for you. Once you're finished reflecting, you can move on to your independent reading time and read, read, read. Okay, happy reading everyone!